Welcome to the Smart Zone demonstration series for release 5.0. In this series, we will be covering the new features available in this release. In this demonstration, we'll be covering the latency measurement feature. With this feature, you are able to configure the AP to ping the Smart Zone and keep track of that latency changes over time due to changes in the environment. So let's get started. So when this feature is enabled, it measures the round trip latency between the AP and the smart zone using ICMP and sends this data to SCI for reporting. This gives you the ability to see the trending of the latency between the smart zone and the AP within SCI. So once we go into smart zone, we will go into the actual access points and this is configurable from a zone perspective. So when enabled, the AP will initiate five pings to the smart zone within one SCI reporting cycle, recording the latency values and then providing an average value that is reported to SCI. So an example would be if the reporting interval was 90 seconds from SCI, the pings will begin from the AP in about 45 seconds into that reporting cycle. And because this is configured from a zone perspective, we're going to be clicking on the actual zones we want this enabled on. Once we have selected the zone, we're going to go up to the configuration button. And we'll move down to the advanced options section. Once we scroll through here, we should see an AP ping latency interval option here. This is not anything that you set other than you turn it on and that cycle or that process that I just explained will take place. So although that we have one AP configured within this, we're going to go into that AP and verify that this feature is now enabled from an AP's perspective. So here we're going to actually go log in, which we already are, and we're going to do a, a get collect D. And we can see in this, once we scroll up a little bit, we can actually see where we see a ping action. And this ping action is enabled. And that is what we just enabled from a smart zone perspective. Now, a couple of things to consider when enabling this feature is that the ping is performed outside any SSH tunnel established between the AP and smart zone. And the pings are originating from the AP towards the IP of the smart zone controller. Therefore, do keep in mind that that smart zone needs to be pingable from the AP itself. Now, this feature is configurable in smart zone, as I demonstrated just a moment ago. However, it can also be configured within the smart zone CLI under the zone configuration section and with the smart zones public API capabilities. This completes the demonstration of the latency enablement within SmartZone, allowing you to be able to report the latency between the AP and SmartZone to SCI. I encourage you to look at the other videos within this series that provide you demonstrations of the new features that are being presented in SmartZone 5.0. Thanks for watching.